Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! You know, that wasn't very enthusiastic. Take two. <laughs> hey, hey, Blue Table fans! <sighs> it still seems a little forced. All right, take Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Yeah, let me tell you what we got today. Uh, first off, this giant Cities of Death table is done. We're just missing one tile over there. That's still being done up. Uh, I'm going to do a more in-depth thing here, but I just kind of wanted you to see an overview. It looks pretty beautiful. Uh, these are two hellhounds that we just put up for sale, and they have full magnetization of what's in the kit, so the hull weapons and, of course, the turret weapon. And these are the new kits. They're really, they're, they're, they're beautiful in every way. And uh, they really look great on this table, too. So uh, I just threw a couple figures on there just to give it some perspective and, and br bring it to life. A couple other things I wanted to show you. We got these great um, gaunt trays in from Battle Foam. Uh, how many is the hell? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 times 2, so that would be 38. Um, but definitely get the inch and a half thick. Uh, this one's an inch, and that holds term against just great. But the Ormagons do need that extra height, and I do believe they make the thicker uh, trays for that. And in fact, we, we may have got some. I usually like to order in the inch and inch and a half. Um, I also have this thing here. I've started picking up, as uh, blog followers know, uh, picking up tons of confrontation. And it, I really only wanted a few certain things, but a lot of the lots that are floating out are around, floating around out there are, you know, they're just, they're such a great deal just to kind of scoop them all up. And uh, so these are extras and uh, a lot of good extras too. I got this uh, Wolfen lot uh, where I just had to sort out the figures into these baggies. Some of them are partially painted. Um, some of them are just primed. Uh, but uh, they're certainly all in serviceable condition, and I have the cards. Uh, I can give that on the request, and tons of these uh, blisters, and then uh, even a few really, really uh, pristine kits like uh, like this one, old uh, Wolf and Predators uh, box kit. Um, oh, here's one. This is uh, Cardinal Earth, and so these are great. These are the best figures ever made. They're so amazing. I just absolutely love them. Hey, and I thought I would also show you what I got in today. Uh, this is only part of, a, of an order, so it's really not its really not a Christmas. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull that anyway. Okay, where am I going to stack them up? Here we go. All right, let's haul. Here, come in. Come in. Closer. Okay, too close. Uh, Hive Tyrant, three boxes of Tyranid Warriors, oh yeah, I love those guys, what a great kit. Um, I started just after they came out with the metal ones, Valkyrie, these are going to become uh, Storm Ravens, Land Raider Crusader, Land Raider Crusader, those actually go into a project, let's get those organized there. And let's see here. Oh, another Land Raider Crusader. You can never have enough of those. Valkyrie. Oh, that's right. We're going to take this and merge them with the Crusaders, hopefully, to make a good Storm Raven. So Valkyrie. We'll see if that's even that's even necessary. It would be great if you could just make it out of a Valkyrie kit by itself. Crusader. Crusader. Is that enough Crusaders? And a Shadow Sword Storm Lord. That's kind of like a little uh, little tongue twister there. So anyway, uh, I think that's it. I think we're just going to do that. So hope you got your inspiration for the day. We'll be back with more. Oh, hey, hey, there's another thing that's going on. There's going to be a battle report on this Cities of Death table this week. In fact, if I have my druthers, it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs>